So joining us now to break down the state of the Trump campaign is Trump campaign's deputy communications director, Caroline Sunshine. Caroline, welcome back. Thanks for having me. Great to see you. Well, it's great to see you. The numbers are impressive, uh, but the Democrat numbers are also not to sneeze at. Give us the state of play regarding Trump's approach to fundraising this quarter. It's been reported he's hosting several smaller gatherings of donors and a more intimate approach. What is the, what is the ma mindset behind that? Yeah, well, much like what you're seeing with President Trump raking in all of the views on these streams, whether it's with uh, Elon Musk or with Aiden Ross, uh, he also continues to rake in the cash. And we're so grateful because in politics, it's not just about uh, the dollar amount. It's also about where your money is coming from. That's actually such a big theme in politics, right? I mean, what good is it if all your money is coming from uh, corrupt George Soros, like the Democrat Party or liberal Hollywood elites who are completely out of touch with where the everyday American is at in this country? I'm, of course, reminded of George Clooney, who, you know, gave Joe Biden $14 million and then three weeks later decided to tell the truth that he knew he was in cognitive decline all along and would like his money back. Uh, the American people would also like some of their money back because the uh, Biden-Harris economy of Bidenomics, Kamalanomics, really uh, has been nothing short of disastrous for the American people. So the American people would like their money back, too. Um, however, President Trump continues to rake in the funds from small dollar donors. And we couldn't be more grateful because this campaign to make America great again has always been about the forgotten men and women. And that's where our donations, most of them, come from. We see most of our donations come from small dollar donors in all 50 states across this country. Mm -hmm. We've seen that consistently. Consistently, uh, people just want more and more of President Trump. I can't say the same for Kamala Harris. Maybe seeing a little bit of fundraising bump because they're excited to have a candidate who has, you know, a, a pulse, I guess, or is more excited, uh, more active outside of the hours of 10 and 4 p.m. But President Trump has uh, always had fundraising prowess, and we see that uh, we see that continuing. And you know, it's because President Trump is authentic. Um, he's unafraid. This is the man that took a bullet for democracy. This is the man who has always said, you know, they're not after me, uh, they're after you. I'm just in the way. And so we couldn't be more grateful, as I said, because we actually know that, you know, those five, ten, fifteen dollar donations, we get it in Kamala Harris and Joe Biden's economy. Those five, ten, extra fifteen dollars. I mean, gosh, you know, people feel that, and so we're just tremendously grateful. And uh, I expect to see, you know, I mean, just with so much gratitude, like I said, to the American people who donate to our campaign, and I expect to see that money continue to come in the door and be very well spent in terms of how we use it to make sure that we communicate the truth about just how dangerously liberal Kamala Harris is, and have a winning ground game to make sure that we take the Trump train all the way to the White House on November fifth. For all our viewers asking where One America News is heading in the future, we would like to introduce you to OAN Live. OAN Live is the best way to stay up to date on all of the hard-hitting, straight-shooting, national and international headlines. And the best part is, OAN Live is only $4.99 per month. All the credible, honest, unbiased reporting One America News offers at a fraction of the cost of cable. Just go to OANN.com to easily sign up for OAN Live and stay informed.